Alright, so today we we'll look at how to create a single cell using VBA. So to start with, we need to create a new file. So now we have created our new file. This one here. I'm going to open VBA editor. I'm bring it inside. So that's the one there. So on my version, I have my properties on the right. You should find your properties somewhere here on the left. Um, so basically the same thing. So this is my new file. Now the first thing that I like to do, I prefer to give it a good name, so I'll call it um click here, right click, the rename, just change name here, A. Okay. So now you can see it has a good name here, cell A. So now for the code, I will start from here, and it's a good to use um to give it a good name so i'll call it sub create cell a okay so we have the beginning and the end of the code now as usual we should define our variables Good. So the first thing is for me, I like to define my cell origin. Uh, I would like to place it at zero zero. So I'll do my origin point. So think about how the box is going to be and so our origin is at the middle so I'm going to go minus 2 up to 2 in terms of x and same thing minus 2 up to 2 in terms of y and we should have a good box all around. So just follow along and then you'll see um, the shape at the end. Okay, so we have from minus 2, minus 2, so this will be lowest corner here, and then it goes up to 2. You can see the x is 2 on the bottom, and then you see where that one stops, minus 2 up to 2, then it will go up. So you can see um, the y changes, so it goes up here, and then it goes back to the left, you can see it changed from 2 to 2, then up to minus 2, so it goes back, you know, uh, on the left, and then it comes down again. You can see the x still the same, but the y changes from 2 to minus 2. So this is, should create a box, but you need to add uh, two more lines, and these are... Add element a cell then you need to create another cell so my cell to draw so this should draw the cell and let's give it a go so let me see what I have here now I am there's nothing there so if I bring back my code then I run it okay so there's a problem here So it is 0.3D. That's that's the problem. So it is 0.3D. So I need to change here. Okay. So let's try again. Okay. There's something wrong here. Create cell 
L of the mistake. So it should be crit script, so that should be fine. Crit cell element. Try again. Hmm. There's always something. Let me see what it is again. Let me see if anything has happened here. Or oh, nothing, so this is a problem somewhere. So let me see what is happening now. Okay, I see. So I'm supposed to, because this is going to be a set, so I'm supposed to say set the front here. Uh, let me copy that. Okay, so add this. This should fix it. Okay, so because it's part of a set, so you need, you need to add set so that it takes all this as a set and it combines them here. So that seems to have worked. So if I come here now and find it, you can see that's a cell here. So if you go to properties of that cell, and you can say it is called cell A. So I'll try a simple thing and I'll try to change A to B and see what's going to happen. So I'll change here to B. Okay. Then I will delete the cell and do it again. And see what happens. So cell B. Good. So the good thing about this um, routine is that you can create different cells. Good. So now let's try to add some more into this and let's try to add a user form, um, like a user interface. So let's try. Uh, so I'll copy this into a, a new code, put some more here, and code cell B. So the first thing first, let's create the user form. So I'll go and say user form. So that's our user form here. So I need to add text box. So that would be for the cell name. And I'll copy this. So that should be for my X and for my Y coordinates. Okay, so let's try to make it look nicer. And now also you need to uh, a button to trigger the cell so you can use this one here command button create cell also you need to change the caption here the caption is somewhere here good so the last thing is um, you want to you want to try to make this font bigger maybe 12 Okay, so now we have that, and now we need to give our text box a name so that we can use it in the course called txt cell name, then txt x for the x coordinates, and txt y for the y coordinates. Good, so now we have our user form looking like this, and now we can naturally. Uh, are the coding input so what i want to do when i click here i wanted to bring this um to load this one here so i'll need to copy this one here so i'll copy that and i'll come here so i will double click and then i'll add this code here so i'll say call Good. Okay, so let's give it a go and see if it's working. And good. Also, what I need to do as well is to be able to launch the, the form. So I need to add maybe something down here. Show. And then VP modulus. Good. So 
let's try if we click here that should launch a form and it does so you see this is a form here so let me delete that and then click sell and that's what comes in now i also need to be able to add names and coordinates so i'll do that part as well so let's go back now and change the code to include that part okay so now rather than defining um zero here and zero there i like this to read from the user form okay so to do that um we just need to change that that should be reading from the form cell b dot it should be txt x okay so that it will uh whatever you type on the x it, sh it should be used as um the x coordinate and for the y the same thing but you can add the y there so txt y good so now we have that now i want now um, the tool to add certain value on the x now imagine if this was zero that was zero that would be fine but then if that moves let's say if the x move also that should move as well so to do that i'm just gonna add i'm gonna copy this x and put whatever x is which is here so gonna put that there now here you need to put add so we're gonna paste and then add a class there and that as well paste with the plus and that just a paste so that's good for the x also you need to there as well the plus and there as well the plus and there as well and there and for the y let me just it here you can see and for the y you need to copy that one for the y and paste in here To add a coordinate and should do it for you now i also um rather than defining a cell name i want to read the cell name from uh from the form and that should be so i will delete that one and say frm cell b dot txt cell name good so if you type a name there that name will be carried in uh into the the cell i also want to add a few elements i like to add two more lines so like a cross and also i like to add a circle as well tp one then i'll say zero zero per cell Mm, there's like issues here let me see what it is okay so here yeah, i said from zero to three i need to add that so now i'll put up to six because i'm gonna have about six element uh in portal so let's try again good so i will delete that one let me do that bh OTP for trial bit one. Um, this is zero zero create and it worked. Let me put five create so see that is in different locations. So you can see the origin is at five. Um, let me try to put um minus 10 for example create and it's there now. So this is going to create a cell and it has a property which then you can export into Excel and it is part of beam that you should create elements which has data behind it in terms of the naming of the element like the cell so for my last part i'd like to add a circle um as part of the cell so let me do that as well good so that is that and now let's see if everything is fine um let me now launch the cell so okay um let me go back to zero zero and it worked you see so 
as I showed, you can um, combine different shapes and leave it coordinates, and it works just fine. In this example, we have used up uh, six element into a group, and together they form a cell. Now, um, just to do a few, so borehole, um, borehole twelve, for example, I'll put um three, three um there. Create. There you go. And yeah, so that is the end of the VBA creating cell, a single cell. And for the next one, I'll do doing multiple cells. Thank you very much. And goodbye.